it's officially courgette season now and i feel like every time i pop up the allotment i'm leaving with a courgette which of course is never a bad thing and i'm not complaining at all it does mean however that you need to try out a few new recipes just to use up your glut so i have about three courgettes to harvest on these three plants they are a little bit too big now but they're perfectly fine and I'll be using them today to make some creamy courgette and bacon carbonara. So that's the kettle boiled. Now I have done a little bit of preparation um, beforehand, but this is such an easy and simple recipe to make. And it's the perfect lunchtime treat, although you could have it for supper as well. And I actually cooked it for my parents a couple of nights ago now, and it went down a storm. My mum actually said, oh, that's going in the recipe book. So um, it was quite a big success. And I wanted to share it with you all here in the little purple potting shed because obviously, like I said, it is courgette season now and they are basically coming out of our ears. <laughs> There's so many of them. Um, and this is such an easy and simple recipe with just a few ingredients. And of course you're using up your courgette glut too, which is never a bad thing. So the ingredients that you need for this recipe is 150 grams of diced bacon, 250 grams of grated courgette, a handful of grated parmesan, 200 grams of creme fraiche and 300 grams of tagliatelle pasta. Now, like I said, I've done most of my preparing beforehand. I'm cooking my bacon for about five minutes until it gets crispy brown. I've also boiled the kettle ready to put the pasta on with and I've grated my courgette which is one of the jobs that I hate. I absolutely hate grating vegetables. It takes so so long. Now this is about one and a half of the courgettes that I picked so they were quite big um, but if you're picking them at normal courgette size you'll need about three to four of them. So, cook the bacon for about five minutes until it's nice and crispy. And it's looking good now. So I'm gonna add my grated courgette into the frying pan. Now, the courgette is quite wet, which isn't a problem at all. If you like your courgette quite crispy um, when it's cooked, then you can squeeze the water out. One more little bit. You will end up getting courgette absolutely everywhere. <laughs> so just give that a good stir. And if you haven't done so already, then turn the heat up. And then that needs to cook for about five minutes or until the courgette is soft 
um, and if you like it crispy then until it's slightly crispy on the edges as well right let's get this pasta on where's my pot there let's take the kettle off pop the pot on there's just about enough room to have my pot and the gigantic frying pan on the stove. <laughs> the stove's quite small. Oh, knocking everything over now. You do need quite a large frying pan for this recipe. Because you'll be adding all the ingredients into that frying pan later on so you need quite a big frying pan otherwise everything's just going to spill over and it's going to get quite messy so pop your water on the stove just keep giving your courgette a good stir Now if you time it right, you should have your pasta ready by the time this is ready, but um, I don't think that's going to happen with me today. Could just eat it like that really, can't you? <laughs> but I really like pasta. I'm a huge pasta fan, um, especially like creamy saucy pasta i'm not that huge on tomatoes um but what you can do with this recipe um also you can spiralize your courgette so instead of having your pasta you have your courgette i think is what they call it um i have a spiralizer at home and i spiralize my courgette quite a lot because we add it to stir fries it's so so nice so instead of using your egg noodles you use your spiralized courgette and the other week we harvested a courgette and i spiralized it up and we also picked some baby carrots from my plot my dad had some broad beans and some peas and he also harvested his first cabbage um, and we added it all together and we had a stir fry with chicken um, and I think it was plum sauce but it was so so nice and I think the best thing about it was the majority of the ingredients were all homegrown um, but anyway what I was getting at was the spiralized courgette and um, you can use that as a replacement in here instead of having your courgette um, in in the frying pan you could just make your courgette pasta um, but I thought that might have been a bit too much and because like I said I'm a huge pasta fan anyway. I'm just using the plain tagliatelle pasta. But of course, again, you can use any pasta that you like. There's so many different shapes out there. the water's just starting to boil so what I'll do is I'll put my tagliatelle on now you need roughly about 300 grams and that will feed about four people now we had it um, between three people the other night and it was fine we ate every single last drop of it um, but my dad did actually say oh, that was a bit too much <laughs> so um, I'd say it will serve four people three if you're really really hungry So the tagliatelle will take about nine, 10 minutes to actually cook once it's boiling, of course. Um, this is nearly done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this off 
and then leave that for about 10 minutes once the pasta is done i'll come back into the shed and i will tell you what to do next but um, i'm just going to do a little bit of sneaky weeding while i've got the time is cooked you just need to strain it I'm gonna pop the hob back on these matches are just not behaving today Aha. So pop your frying pan back on the heat and just let it warm up a little before you add your pasta. She managed to thin out my swede which I've been meaning to do for absolutely ages right so pop your tagliatelle Ooh, into the frying pan I thought it was gonna go absolutely everywhere then oh let's get those two bits just mix it all together See, I told you it was quite hard to mix it up <laughs> even in this massive frying pan so once that is all mixed up you want to get your 200 grams of creme fraiche which is basically just a small tub And then just add that to your mixture. We'll try and get as much as possible out the tub. And the last ingredient to go in there is half a handful of your parmesan and then just give it a good stir mix up all those ingredients get all those bits of courgette and all those bits of bacon all mixed up and 
and that is it it's that easy and that simple to make and it's the perfect way to use up your courgette glut now i actually have quite a few recipes over on my blog and one of them is actually a courgette and lemon cake which i made up the other day and it is so so lovely so if you're looking at other ways of using up your courgette glut then head on over to the blog and check out those other recipes but right now I'm going to sit down, have a bit of a break, have a little bowl of pasta and crack on with a few more allotment jobs. So once this is served up, just scatter a little bit more parmesan over the top of, on each bowl and you're ready to go. So I really hope you enjoyed that recipe and thank you for watching. I will see you all next time.